Search continues for the pilot of the plane that crashed into the Gulf of Mexico after taking off from the Venice airport Saturday evening. A woman and child were also killed in that crash. ABC Action News reporter Wendy Lane has been down in Venice all day and has the latest on the search. Police say a family rented a plane from a St. Pete airport on Saturday and flew down to Venice. He uh, traveled here, it appears, for dinner and intended to return directly back to St. Pete. But they never did return. The FAA contacted Venice police Sunday morning to help find them. Uh, at about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, the Sarasota Sheriff's Office helicopter located that Piper Cherokee about a third of a mile straight west of the airport property here um, in about 15 feet of water. Police say it appears the Piper plane took off Saturday evening from Venice Municipal Airport and crashed shortly afterward. On Sunday, the body of a 12 year old girl was found in the cabin of the plane and boaters discovered the 43 year old woman's body floating two miles off the shore of Venice Beach. And we are still looking for a 42 year old male uh, that was, as we've determined, the pilot uh, that rented that aircraft from St. Petersburg. People in the community say they're devastated by the news. It's a family. What, what happens to your family? You know, those are the things that, that anybody should get choked up on. You, know, you hope that you never see it or hear about it. The cause of the crash is still under investigation. Police say there was no mayday call from the aircraft. Airport director Mark Cervasio says it's rare for something like this to happen in Venice. Yeah, I've been here six and a half years and we haven't had a, a fatality while I've been here. Um, but I've been in airports for a long time and it, it's difficult. There's no two ways about that. Police are still not releasing the names of the victims. In Venice, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.